Spanish revival style. We call it that because the clock tower up there was modeled after La Giralda, the American brand in architecture. We'll talk about it when we, when we see that style forever. Well, let's jump ahead in time, do a lot of time travel today. From the 1920s to the river, called the Jewelers Building, that we'll discuss shows and films over the years. From Steve McQueen's final film called The Hunter in 1980, who drove a car. Tower. No idea why. Then in the 1960s, when these were built, steel, granite, put your own little contemporary. Take that before, go for a walk, grab a drink, eat lunch on the big steps. It's become such a big part of the downtown. Just draw your eye upward. The polished Indian limestone give me that tan beige color. This was a style for the roaring 1920s, ornate, elegant, ostentatious. Of each generation, we'll get to that later. We are about to enter one of my favorite spots on this river, definitely one of the best photo opportunities on the river, especially as the sun begins to set. This is Wolf Point. Wolf Point, we are entering now the intersection of the river. Now, drawing your attention to this bridge over here on our left, Lake Street Bridge right there, you can see train tracks that are going on top of the bridge. Those are right now in this area of Wolf Point, under 10 years old. But there's a big exception to that. Straight ahead storage freezing building, it was like a big refrigerator with barely any window, used to run on the Upraise Bridge. Speed. We would reach on the left, the river cottage and windows. It might remind you a little bit of a sailboat. That's because the architect was Harry Weiss. Harry Weiss loved sailing. Very big sailor in his free time, so he put these nautical sailboats. And we'll talk more about this relationship with the river as we go. We're trying to blend in with the natural context. In this case, it's this beautiful green curvy. It goes in the opposite direction to correct for the sway. It's like a big water shock absorber, the inertia create, which maximizes, as you can see, all the office space above it, but still allows for an amazing little path. plaza, clocks, ivy, roaring 20s. But what happens in eight years of no building office towers in the city? But then, we'll be kind of functionally beautiful instead of really being as eye-catching, aesthetically beautiful, right? Okay, why did they build like that? Had doors turned around, came here, right to this building. Post office in the world. Now, if you're wondering why, why did Chicago need such a big post office? The facts from the fiction. Now, I want to start with not true story. Okay, just so this is clear. This is the untrue story. This is the myth of the fire, the legend that I, I just know somebody here has heard. It goes like this. I was like, oh, right, that fire, Chicago, the cow. Now, the story of the cow, you know, it's really gotten wrapped in from the meat packing industry, just sort of putting whatever they didn't want into the river after the fire. And that's because the center of the city burned down. Not just different pockets and outskirts, the center of it all reduced to ash, which attracted really smart people. World class, this building on our right might look familiar to you. Might remind you a little bit of Marina City. Remember the corn cob towers? That's because this is its sister building. This is ripped deep dark windows, tan limestone color, soaring lines that really do dramatic. Sort of like it's spiraling upward to these two tallest towers. And that relatively simple to breathe <laughs> even the comedy tragedy mass in the center and even the font civic opera building and why does why is that you why does it look like a v because there's smell <laughs> so hey you know i know we got new york over there but now as we sail areas of the midwest it was popularized by frank lloyd wright uh -huh. a very famous uh, chicago-based architect i don't know park oak park Relax, kind of a calming style to look at. Architect, government building, a university, brutalism, right? It's pretty cheap, pretty easy to build. So if you really want that functional building, it's not really about what it is. Prohibition policy. And that is real gold up there. That's 100% 24-karat gold leaf at the top of the tower. You have the Wrigley Building, that's Spanish cathedral, with the clock tower at the top of it. Luxury condos, one of which is now sold for $8 million. Behind the private architect, still doing amazing things for her home base of Chicago, which really accentuates the curve to our eyes. And then you reach empty row at the top. That is called a through the building, which makes the building absorb less of the wind and relieves the pressure on whatever side is being of beautiful views of Chicago. We are about to do our last U-turn and give you exactly that, this beautiful view. Otherwise, I'll see you in a few minutes. Enjoy the view. Oh, it does. Yeah. That was a great job. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Are you from Chicago? Yeah. 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 Yeah.